Today we are taking you on a journey as we build this thematic Cursed Earth Wasteland Diorama. But instead of me just talking you through how to paint something similar, Gordon has an in-world narrative adventure for you. No delay, no warm-up, not even time to stretch. Let's dive straight in. Welcome back to the futuristic hellscape that is the world of Judge Dredd. For those of you new to the world of Dredd, here's a quick summary. It is the future. Regular cities have given way to giant megacities. Megacity 1 covers the whole eastern seaboard of the country we currently know as the United States of America. Order is kept in the sprawling megacity by the judges. The judges keep order with an iron fist, holding down evils such as sugar traffickers, juve gangs, sky surfers, and the insidious threat of democracy. Over in the area we know as Russia, the Sov bloc still lives under harsh Stalinist rule. Their capital, East Meg 1, is the sworn nemesis of Mega City 1. Today is a day like any other, soon to become a day that lives in Dredd's storied history. Dredd is riding patrol on his lawmaster when his radio crackles to life. All units, ground car last seen in use by Sov infiltration agent Orlock spotted approximately three kilometers west of Steve Irwin block in the cursed earth, called in by a slummy living in the area. Drock! Dread exclaims, answering the radio. Dread responding. Mark me en route. Responding is the most famous of the judges, Judge Joe Dredd. Most famed and feared of the megacity judges, he has been policing the streets for decades and has an unparalleled arrest record. His humorless scowl, complete commitment to the judges, an unwavering commitment to justice has made him a legend of Mega City 1, feared and respected by the citizens in equal measure. Dredd, like all the judges, carries a lawgiver pistol, a versatile weapon with the ability to fire numerous ammo types, such as heat seekers, ricochet and high explosive rounds. He rides a lawmaster motorcycle, equipped with machine guns, an advanced computer which can self-pilot and respond to commands, infrared scanners and rubber bullets for crowd control. It's an essential part of his kit. Thank you so much to Warlord Games for sending me these detailed Judge Dredd minis. If you'd like to get a hand on your own, well you're in luck, because I'll put a link below to their page, and yes, they ship worldwide. Dredd is venturing into the cursed earth, with barren dust visible on the horizon in both directions. The Cursed Earth is a blasted flat wasteland that is a remnant from the Atomic Wars. An irradiated wasteland populated by criminals, mutants, exiles from the megacities, and sometimes even robots. What buildings exist there are ruined shanty towns. People living in the Cursed Earth mostly live outside the rule of law, but judges who feel they can no longer serve the city do take the long walk and go outside the walls of the city, establishing themselves as marshals in small towns. Many famous judges have taken the walk, Chief Judge Magruder, Judge Fargo, and Judge Minty among them. A lonely and desolate existence, much like the terrain. As Dread follows the damaged roads, remnants of a mostly forgotten civilization, he considers his quarry. Orlok the Assassin is a devious Soviet agent of East Meg 1, perhaps the most dangerous antagonist the Mega City has ever had. In 2104, Block Wars, all-out battles between the giant apartment blocks, usually named after famous figures, broke out across Mega City 1. The uprisings were eventually suppressed, but not before causing countless deaths. This was traced back to Block Mania, a madness spread by a poison in the city water supply planted by Orlok. But worse was yet to come, as Mega City 1 was still reeling from the outbreak of civil unrest. East Meg 1 launched a surprise mass attack, shooting down space stations, launching a nuclear attack killing 150 million civilians, and following up with a ground assault. Dredd led a guerrilla force to drive the ground assault out, and capturing a nuclear silo, he launched his own mass annihilation of East Meg 1. Orlok remains filled with hate towards Dredd and the decadent capitalist dogs of Mega City 1, and he's shown no hesitation in using any methods to obtain his revenge.
Arriving at the scene, Dredd sees the reporting person scurrying towards him. Frantically, the slummy tells Dredd what he's seen. The J? Thank Grud! I seen one of them soul agents clambering around the old shack down there, and he's got some droids with him. Dredd pauses, considering. Vagrancy and squatting. Two years in the ISO cubes. Wait here. Dredd cuffs the man and resumes his slow ride in his lawmaster. He peers toward the shack. As he watches, with a loud clanking, giant mechanical robots emerge into view, clearly fixated on the threat Dredd cannot yet see. The lawmaster computer crackles to life. Hammerstein, Mark 1. Discontinued. Decommission on site. Hammerstein, Mark 3. Sergeant, the Hammerstein- Save it. Dredd interjects. The Hammersteins. Primitive war robots first launched back in 2009, the Mark I Hammersteins were found to be unreliable and had difficulty separating friend from foe. They were a liability, decommissioned and destroyed. Some years later, a Hammerstein Mark III, given a more thorough personality including artificial emotions, was sent to serve alongside a human regiment in the Volgan Wars. This individual was eventually accepted by his regiment and promoted to sergeant. He leads the new war robots of his type. Despite his enhanced emotions, the sergeant is still a Hammerstein robot and vulnerable to reprogramming. Hammerstein robots have not been seen for years. Rumour has it they lie dormant somewhere in the cursed earth, just awaiting reactivation to serve. Drawing closer, Dredd sees the subject of the Hammerstein's attention. What the drock? Control, we have solved droids here. Send more units. Volgan AK-47 Robots The Volgans, a fascist, somewhat Soviet government, was responsible for an invasion of the United Kingdom way back in 1999. Eventually repelled by Allied forces in conjunction with the newly minted Hammerstein robots, the Volgans deployed droids of their own, including the mighty AK-47 model. While primitive, and suffering many of the failings of the original Hammerstein models, these robots bring a lot of force to bear with their clanking metal frames and assault rifles. Now the terrain that I'm using for this diorama is an assortment of 3D files that I've purchased online, but I don't own a 3D printer. So thank you so much to Niels for printing them for me. He's not a sponsor, but I'm going to give him a shout out because he's affordable and his service was absolutely amazing. So I can't hold out on you, link below. Now, before I show you how this diorama turned out, I wanna say a quick thank you to the members of my Patreon. These people right here are my newest members, and when combined, they are the reason that I get to make videos like this and have fun creating dioramas. So thank you so much. Now, let's check out how the diorama turned out. A looming silo door, of the kind used to store robots in deep hibernation, stands nearby. It's clear to Dredd that these Hammerstein robots have just emerged, awakened by means unknown and their programming overridden to fight alongside Orlok and fulfill his nefarious goals. Dredd spots Orlok. Their eyes lock for a second before Dredd leaps from his bike, Lawgiver leveled. Orlok is already scurrying for cover behind the shack. The showdown is on. Now this is where I need your feedback. Let me know first if you like this diorama, but more importantly, let me know if you've enjoyed this style of video, where instead of me just the dialogue being listing each paint I'm using or what brush technique I'm stumbling my way through, you instead get a rich narrative which is centered around the events of the diorama.
by commenting and even hitting the like button below. This encourages YouTube to recommend this video to other viewers on the platform that are interested in our hobby. How amazing is Gordon? Not only has he crafted this rich and entertaining story in the Judge Dredd universe, but he's given up his own time to do it. Gordon, thank you so much. So what is next for the channel? Well, that depends on you. If you've enjoyed this style of video, then I'd be keen to pencil in another date where we create a narrative driven diorama. But first, I do have a bit of catch up and I'm keen to design, build and paint a model for one of our patrons. Arjak, I'm looking at you. I've been Mike, Gordon has been our storyteller, a vagrant has commenced his two year stint in the ISO cubes, and you, you've made it to the end of the video and that makes you awesome. Thanks so much and I'll see you on the next one. A J? Oh thank god, I seen one of them solve agents clambering around the old shack down there and he's got some droids with him. If you can't get enough of Gordon and I in the Dread universe, here we are playing a game of Judge Dread. Or YouTube thinks that this other video is something you'll enjoy. Are they right?